Hi guys and welcome to my graduation get ready with me. So starting off unfortunately I lost the footage where I put on my foundation but you know it's just foundation. <laughs> so um, right here I'm putting on some concealer to cover up my dark circles. bring it down to my nose and anywhere where I have a few blemishes or just want a little bit of a highlight. So after that I just fix all my concealer with some translucent powder. After that I apply some almost translucent really light beige um, powder to my whole face to cover up any shininess and oiliness and just to give the skin a flawless and matte finish. Now make sure to bring the powder down to your neck to blend everything together so you don't have any harsh lines. So right here I'm just contouring my cheekbones with a kabuki brush from P2. Also don't forget to blend it all out and together so you don't have any harsh lines again. I also like to contour my nose a little bit just to make it look a little tiny bit skinnier. So that's what I'm doing right here. The next thing is blush cause be serious, who could go out of the house without blush? So yeah, a little smile makes it easier to see where you need to put your blush to make it look perfect. So that's what's going on here. And also, since we're going for a full face of makeup, we have to highlight our cheekbones and all the areas we want to have highlighted in our face. So, yeah, just make sure to highlight the top of your cheekbones and then maybe blend it together with your blush and your contouring to make it look even and nice. I'm also highlighting my forehead and a little bit on my nose and on my chin and my cupid's bow and just around my mouth. So going over to my eyebrows I just kind of brush them through with the brush that's on the pencil and then I'm going to just fill them in And don't be scared if this looks a little bit dark right now on camera. It will all blend in and look good later. So then I'll just brush through them again to blend the hair all together. And then we're done with the eyebrows. Then we'll start with our base. I'm not using any eyeshadow base because I'm just putting on this cream eyeshadow which also works as an eyeshadow base and it's this really light almost white but kind of champagne ish <laughs> color and all the product that's left on my finger I just put on my brow bow to highlight that area then we do the same thing again on the other eye Then I put this really gorgeous rose gold kind of color in my crease area and I just blend all this really good together. And if you do this, try to put most of the color on the outer corner of your eyes to create a little bit of a shadow. Moving on to eyeliner, I like to use a liquid eyeliner, that's just what works best for me, but you can use any eyeliner you want and also any colors you want, it's all up to you of course. So I'm just going for a, I would say, pretty thick line. I'm also doing a little wing at the end and I have a really weird technique doing that so um, please don't think I'm a weirdo, that's just what works best for me. I 
And here I just fill in the lines a bit more. I'm also putting some black eyeliner on my lower lash line. And on my upper lash line as well, so please excuse this not so lovely look, but it's what you have to do. Then of course the eyeliner on the other eye. Like I said, just a pretty thick line and a wing. And again, black eyeliner on the lower lash line, but be careful and don't drag this down too far, just to the middle of the eye. Then it's time to curl our lashes. So that's what's happening right here. And of course mascara, because what's the use of an eye makeup without mascara? So I'll just apply actually a lot. I apply a lot of mascara, so if you don't like that, then of course you don't have to do it, but it's just what I like. So here I apply a second mascara, and in a second, yep, right now I apply a third mascara. So this is just how I like to wear my mascara. If you don't like this look, then you don't have to do it. Moving on to hair. Starting off brushing your hair and applying some heat protectant spray. This is an absolute must because we are going to use heat on our hair. And the spray I'm using is not only heat protectant, but it also helps to keep the curls in place, which is pretty good because I have pretty thin hair. So just brush this through again. And don't mind me singing here. <laughs> so we just take sections from our hair. We've sectioned our hair. We can start. I use a flat iron to curl my hair for this style. And just curl the hair. You probably already know this technique if you are watching beauty videos. So I'll skip this part right here and come back to you when I'm almost done. So this is my third and last section. Um, yeah, I actually do exactly the same as with the other hair. So here I'm back with my last piece, my bangs. I just did a side part, by the way, <laughs> and I pull my hair up and just kind of curl it away from my face to get this look. And then you have to style it a little bit. And in the end, I just give a little bit of moisturizing shine spray through the end of my hair uh, just to give them more shine and texture so I just run this through and play a little bit with the curls make them a little bit more bouncier and kind of break them and this just adds a lot of beautiful shine to the hair and then you're done you could leave it like that or pin one side up I'm going to pin one side up because I think that's really cute. And then you're done. And that is the finished look. I just added some pink lipstick and gloss. I hope you like this video and I hope you like the look. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you hopefully in my next one. Bye! Amanda C. <laughs>
Abschluss.